Okay, this is the final part of the series uh, of serial communication tutorial. So for this part, this uh, tutorial, we will we'll learn how to use Visual Studio to write a quick uh, user interface so we can use our serial port. Okay, let's uh, click on File, select New, Project, and click on Visual C Sharp, uh, Windows Form Application, and choose your folder, and I'll create a name for this one. Generic. Uh, this is named Generic Serial. Serial. Okay. And Visual Studio will start uh, generating the basic form for you to start. You need to click on View and click on the toolbox. And here is where you can add uh, various buttons and uh, functionality uh, to your windows. So on your toolbox uh, screen, go, go on down and drag the serial port from the toolbox to the form. And now add the serial port functionality to this Windows application. You need to add two buttons, one, two, and a text box. I'll use the rich text box here. Okay. So uh, once we uh, finish um, adding all the uh, designer components, we need to rename this to something that is easy to identify. This is the send button, and this one is the let's call it the init button. This when we click on it, it will open a com port. Okay, so uh, click on the serial port. We change a few settings. Uh, so the ball rate is 9600. That's fine. And we change the com port to the one our computer recognized. Com port seven, remember that one? Okay. So the first thing we need to is add functionality to our windows. You can do this by either double click on this, which is the easier way, or you can click on view and click on the code. And you can do it manually, adding code manually, but I wouldn't do that. So I'll click on this button, double click on it, and it'll create it generate this uh, default. Uh, method for you. So here we write an if statement. If this is just like C code, so it's not nothing different. Uh, if not serial port. Notice how I just typed serial the first few uh, letters, and it uh, has the IntelliSense. So it's just tab pressing tab button. You finish it for you. And that's a serial port one, and we want to check see if it is open. If it's not open, then go ahead and use uh, and do uh, run this statement. If port is not open, then open up port. So open. So this is a method. You use the parentheses and close with a semicolon. Open port. And we want to uh, let the user know that it's been open, so we we'll put rich text box one tab dot text equals to and okay open just to let the user know it's open. Okay, that's good. All right, uh, so we got that button taken care of, safe. Okay. Uh, wait, uh, we need to set the, let's go ahead and uh, write the code where we're going to set the serial port name. Okay, serial port 1, uh, port name, 
So we can put COM port 7 here instead of the other screen, right? So we can change later on if we like. Let's um, let's work on the send button. So go back to your designer uh, view and click don't click on the send button. So now we want to check if the port is open again. Is serial port one is open? If it's open, then go ahead and do the statement. Execute this. So we want to send uh, a message. String text. So you go to the rich text box one dot text. Um, okay. Uh, what this line does is basically it takes all the um, the text inside our text box here and put inside a string variable we call text. And we can go ahead and send this message using the serial port class and write write uh, you can do write or write line which has the uh, backslash n to a new line I'll use that one okay and I'll put text here as a variable to send the string and that's it it will send the text message to zero port 7 let's test uh, our port see if it can open click on the start debugging Hopefully this will work. So let's test this init. Open. Okay. So so far so good. So the next part is um well you can create a non application just like this. But in, instead of comport seven, you put comport seventeen or eighteen or whatever the other comport is. I'm just gonna use the putty as our secondary uh comport to test with uh, our um, user interface on this one. So I got my first program here and I'll test with PuTTY. So my second COM port is connected to COM18 this time and I need to set the ball rate to 9600 and open up that and alright now I need to open up my COM port 7 over here clicking init. So right here I can type in my message hello PuTTY so when I hit send, it's going to send this message to Putty, and you can see on the right side. There you go. All right, um, you can play with this and add a bunch, a bunch of nice um, attributes to this, uh, and create something maybe something like this, where it's very nice. It has the COM port browser. Um, it drops down all the available COM ports, and it has color, different colors, but that's a lot of work. And this, I just want to show you the basics for now. All right, thanks for watching this series of uh, Comport uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching.